Hello everyone, Tennessee Tactical back at it again with another video today. Uh, today we're going to be doing kind of a very, very quick um, review of the hand checkering lab from SDI. Uh, this was uh, FTT214. And like I said, this is the hand checkering lab. If you've been watching my videos, uh, you saw that we had to do some hand checkering. Um, I unboxed the hand checkering stuff and uh, haven't really talked about it since then because I've actually been doing it. Now, this is probably the hardest project I've ever done from SDI. This is very, very hard. Uh, I, I want to go ahead and make a disclaimer real quick. I, like I always do. I always do disclaimers. You knew it was coming. So this is a very skilled project. Uh, kind of a thing here it's honestly in my opinion more of a art artistic type thing um you know do i believe true gunsmiths should know how to hand checker absolutely uh, do i think it's ne like necessary to be a gunsmith sort of because you, you might have a customer who comes in and asks for checkering repair um the problem with this though is this takes time to master like I'm going to show you how bad I messed up, and I'm okay, I'm okay with it because, and I'm actually going to use this. Uh, you can kind of see where I've already started here <clears throat> to uh, kind of continue my practicing here on this. But this is, and, and you can look up all kinds of uh, reviews and kind of forums about how hard hand checkering actually is to master. The videos make it so easy. <clears throat> Whenever you watch a video from Brownells or uh, Brownells or Mid uh, Midway USA trying to show and explain how to hand checker the videos make it look so easy but it's not this is a very 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 hard skill in my opinion that takes a lot of time a butt ton of patience and just honestly the kind of an artistic skill you have to have a steady hand because you're going to be using uh, something here called a checkering tool which i did uh, this is just one of many checkering tools that are out there uh, basically, in the very most elementary, broad spectrum uh, definition, checkering is carving out a pattern into a wood stock to provide not only an aesthetic look, uh, an aesthetic appeal, but also to provide a grip texture for better accuracy and handling on the firearm. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into, this is going to be, like I said, a very short video. Uh, I will save a lot of that for the semester four review. But I'm just going to show you what hand checkering is supposed to look like. That's what it's supposed to look like, okay? So we'll get a close-up of that. Get a close-up of this right here. That's what it's supposed to look like. And here's my result. <laughs> so very, very difficult to do. Um, you have to have a steady hand. And actually, I I'd, I'd started on this side, but I messed up so bad on this side that I, like I said, I... I, I uh, done a whole other one because i didn't want to fail and i haven't got my grade back on this yet i just finished it thought i'd make a video i don't think i'm going to fail because this is something that i know sdi is aware that you know this is everybody's first time doing stuff like this or should be anyway um some people that take this course might already know how to hand check her but like i said this is a very very hard skill to get the lines proportioned correctly and to cut those diamonds correctly uh, like I said, very hard to do. So if, if you're going into this project or if you've already done this and you felt discouraged about it, you felt disappointed about it, or if, like I said, if you're going into this and you're very nervous, it's okay because I was nervous too. And honestly, like I said, this is the most hard, like this is the hardest thing I've ever done in this school project wise. And this is probably one of the hardest things that I will continue to learn how to do, which is why I'm very excited about it actually, because I don't want this to be easy. You know, a lot of things in this school so far has been fairly easy, but I want something to be a challenge, and this is something that I'm going to have to buy some wood blanks or uh, stock blanks, or I'm going to have to go outside, chop a freaking tree down, and get some blocks of wood in here to seriously take the time and master the skill, because it's okay if you mess up. Like some people, you know, they get on YouTube, they comment, oh, you suck at this, blah, blah, blah. That's okay, you know, because people need to realize that it takes time to master things like this, and at the end of the day, you know, if you practice enough, you are going to get better. That's just the name of the game. You know, practice makes perfect. So I just wanted to show you guys, come on here real quick and show you guys, you know, uh, what it kind of looks like, what it's supposed to look like and what mine looked like. Um, and just hopefully, you know, if you've done this and you feel discouraged about it, felt disappointed about it, don't feel too bad because, you know, like I said, this is a very hard thing to learn. 
and to master and i think that uh, you'll be okay if you just keep practicing and keep at it just like anything else in the world so if you've enjoyed this video please be sure to slap that like button if you're new to this channel and you're interested in my uh, videos be sure to slap that subscribe button with notifications turned on so you don't miss an upload thank you guys for watching until the next time peace out